Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today is going to be more of a like kind of video where I discuss something which is it's kind of affecting us a lot, the people. I'm going to talk about those specific people. So as you cannot see by the title, it says it says something to do with a chargeback. And if you do not what, know what a chargeback is, it's when the buyer, in this case we're talking about PayPal, uh, charges back their money. So in a way, you get back your money and then whoever has the product, or like if it's, if it's like a virtual product, he can choose like to ban you or something like that. But in the end, he still loses the money. And the sad thing about this is that the owner or the seller, he has to pay a fee because, because like in a way the 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 buyer isn't really happy with what he has, and I feel like people can just make up uh, stuff. Oh yeah, I didn't like this because of that, and then they can basically lie about it, and I don't think that that's good because then people are gonna start buying stuff and then asking to return it. And be like, yeah, I don't like it anymore, and then return it, and and then whatever. And then the the bad thing is that that fee can vary, and it can be a lot of money. And your PayPal may go under like the the boat, the value, or whatever, how much money you have, will like go underneath, so that your account gets limited. So like, please be in mind when you charge back. I'm just gonna say that right now. So, I have actually charged back before. Um, let al yet alone, I have only donated once, I believe, yeah. No, well, I mean, okay, probably two, because when I wrote my Optifine cape, it's called as a donation, because you're donating to them, uh, and then you're getting a cape in return. So I don't know. It's Yeah, I guess it's a donation as well. I didn't really want to charge back it because I want to have my cape. Um, there's no real reason to charge back. If I didn't really want the cape, I wouldn't have bought in the first place. So my second one is I've donated several times to Rootin' Eventy's stream. And the reason why I kind of charge back is, for one... Her streams are not real. She is acting. So then in a way she is fake. She's artificial. Now I'm not saying that this is a reason to be able to charge back. I just know that it's not like she won't really care. And that goes on with the second part. Is that she's kind of semi-famous. A lot of the things that she gets and stuff she like... Okay, so I didn't charge back, just to let you know, well, Britney Venti, I actually refunded. It's basically the same thing, uh, except refund is when you make a deal that you want the money back on, you know, the product and stuff like that. But charge back is when the buyer immediately gets their stuff, their money back, because they're not happy with the product. So, I just want to say that I refunded my money because I felt like she doesn't really deserve that money. She was fake acting. Uh, I know that I would probably do that or something like that. But the the fact that I refunded it and she did not like respond to it is just kind of mind blowing because that clearly shows she doesn't really care about what money goes out and what money goes in. So in a way it kind of shows me and everyone else that that she's just doing it because she finds it fun or she's just doing it because she is famous and she doesn't need anything she's just doing it because she can <laughs> so I do not recommend you I really don't want anybody charge backing kind of put yourself in their shoes if you get charged back you can get like a twenty dollar fee so you have to like pay that as well on top as giving the money back so what I did was wrong I should have probably never donated but the fact that um, I kind of got a reaction out of it that was kind of the point 
um, if I were to do it again, I would, the thing is, I have like a lot of other stuff which I would rather buy in life. Uh, sure, giving a few dollars like that is, yeah, fun, but like, it can trigger people. So, as you guys know, a lot of you guys have like probably some kind of income uh, on the internet, like you get money from your parents for working, and then they give you a bit of the money through your PayPal so you can buy stuff. If that was the pro if that was the case, which my family would, I would probably have like kept donating or whatever. But the thing is, I only have a laptop. I do not have like a gaming computer like most YouTubers and streamers or whatever. So for me, money is very important that I have. But I also believe that being right and doing what's right is important. So that's why I'm just saying that I'm never. Well, first, I cannot donate to Britney Venti's stream anymore because, uh, because obviously, because she has banned me because I refunded my money. So, to get to the point, just do not charge back. I've learned from my mistakes, I will not do it again, despite who it is. Uh, if it comes to it that I start doing these kinds of things, like if you donate, uh, people will play videos on my stream. Just kind of put yourself in my boots because I do check PayPal regularly. It's not like I check it each week and to see if something. Because when you refund, it takes about three days for you for everything, the progress. And if you haven't looked through it in three days, you're not going to. Uh, you d basically the buy the the buyer has won. He he gets money despite because you're not doing anything. Uh, and the fact that I know that she didn't do anything is because when it said waiting for the response of the Sala, then she never gave a response. So I'm like, does she actually care about her money? So keep in mind, people are careless. I'm guessing she has all the money she needs. Uh, she lives in a small room with her boyfriend. And yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say for this video. Sorry if I've been repeating myself too much. I would start a petition over this. I feel like people on stream uh, who are streaming, there should be like an option where you can like decide what kind of way you want to pay them. You want to pay them in like a secure way so that if you pay them, you cannot get your money back. Or if you want to pay them like they usually do. Uh, although at the same time, I was thinking about it last night. If you pay someone uh, like a safe way, then there's no fee when you pay it. And the point of fee when you pay someone is because you're paying, you're paying basically tax. And if we do not pay tax, we have nothing, we have no one to the society will not run. So that's kind of another th reason why people do this. So in a way, it's kind of our fault that, that we, that we charge back and do all these refundings when we really shouldn't. So it's not just PayPal's fault, it's our fault. We need to also realize that. So just remember, I get really, really stressed if my money, if I do not get the money which I expected to have. So do not play any of these pranks on me while I'm streaming or something. I just want to let you guys know. Uh, doesn't mean that if I get one charge back, I will leave, but like, just don't do it. Please. I don't want my PayPal to be limited. I do not want to go through any more stress because I lost this and that. <sighs> okay. So I'm just making this video just so that everybody can know that what you do and what you get back means a lot. And I've gone through it. I know how it is. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys have understood. My name is Momzal. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.